Hello, well, this pop-up podcast from The Devil of Detail. I'm Rob Paxton, and I'm here talking all things Salford Red Devils. I managed to speak to Richard Marshall ahead of the Huddersfield game in the pre-match press conference, and this is what we had to say. Coach's Corner. Yeah, Rick, it's Rob. Hi, Rob. Looking back at the Wigan defeat, the defensive effort of your players were fantastic. You worked hard on it in the off-season. You'll be proud of what's being produced. Yeah, we did. I thought we 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 made Wigan work for every point, scrap for every point that they got. Obviously, they got they kicked a few penalties. That again, that was our lack of discipline. But the tries that they scored were were, were very very tight, very in the corner, and we didn't let them go through us. We spoke about that as a group. We repelled. You know, if you look at the stats and the momentum in the game, we probably should have been thirty or forty points down, but we kept scrambling and scrambling. Um, and then we did take our opportunity second half, the, the ten minute period before. Us, Sorry, just after half time, we I don't think we completed two sets, two, two or three sets. We just kept turning the ball over, made a few errors. So but on the whole, our efforts been getting better every week. It's looking a little bit more the way I envisaged it at the start of the season. Yeah. Uh, sadly, Lee Moss this week announced your retirement. How much of a loss will it be for the club? And are you looking for a replacement captain at the end of the year? Yeah, it's a big loss. It is a big loss. He, he's a big character within the group, <clears throat> an outstanding professional individual and person to have around. But we, uh, you know, we have to move on. And, and, and Kevin Brown will be captain this week. Greg Burt will be vice captain. So we're already got we've we've, we've got a leadership group. We we, ne- we never put one leader or one captain. We have a group, a core of players, and I drip people into that. Andy Akers has been in Joe Burgess this week. We, you know, and if we feel we want to improve their leadership skills, we'll we'll throw them in, and we have a good template for doing that. Um, but no player, no player is irreplaceable. But he's certainly a big loss for us. Um, but his welfare and his, you know, mental and physical well being is paramount. Yeah, uh, the club announced the sign of Joe B- uh, Brody Croft uh, this week. How excited are you about working with him? And is it a statement signing? Looking forward to twenty twenty two. It's a big signing. It's a big signing for us for uh, our club. It's a big commitment for for Salford, <clears throat> and it's also a big commitment for Brody to come across under the current climate with COVID and everything. But he's really happy about the move. He's already talking about talking to me about where it places to live and. And the team, so yeah, it's it's a great move for us, and um, yeah, I can't wait to get working with him. I think it'll be good for me as well. Yeah, looking at the season, defense is solid. Everything is there for all to see. Attacking wise, minus a Castleford win. <coughs> Why do you think this is? And have you talked to your players about it? Yeah, it's a combination, of lots of things. Ill discipline uh, with the ball, not 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 getting to the end of our sets. We don't complete like it like we should do. So, so we're not having enough opportunities, and uh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, as you say, with the Castleford one was probably a, you know we managed to score a load of points. I think what happens is you get momentum by scoring points, and uh, and we've not we've not had that momentum uh, because you know we've not been scoring too many. So we want to. I think we should. I want us to be at the most dangerous after we've scored. So you know, try and go after oppositions after we score. So we'll see this week. But I think the focus. Yeah, is that is obviously. Sorry. Yeah, so obviously because you've got a load of half backs. Is it trying to find the right combination to see how dangerous you can get? Yeah, there's yeah, there's a bit of that. The, the team has chopped and changed. There'll be changes again this week, forced, um, and that 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 puts you know puts you under pressure to come up with plays. We want a, pa- a patient, resilient performance this week. That that's all we're after this week. Yeah, I was uh, training on this week, and uh, did you have more numbers? To play with, yeah, numbers. Yeah, we're we're getting getting some numbers back. Um, so yeah, we managed to get a real good session on on, on Tuesday uh, with the referee refereeing us in and around the rook, and and that was good. We got a lot out of that session. So we're not full strength, but at the same time, we're not. We, we'll have a few more back next week, which which I'm looking forward to really. Yeah, Huddersfield Friday, home game in front of the fans and hopefully a double over the Giants and ex-coach uh, Ian Watson. That'd be nice. Yeah, we had a good game against them over at the at the, um, at the John Smith Stadium. I thought we did a real good job that day. Uh, everything went against us, but we managed to to get through that. Um, yeah, it'll be a tough game, but we're at home. We're confident. We've got a good game plan. We know what we need to do this week and 
the added motivation is our skipper uh, retiring. I think that's we'll be talking about that before the game and, 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 and putting a putting a shift in for for Lee Mossop, I reckon.